The world is extremely dangerous to you if you are a Christian. And that is because the world profits off of the sinful desires of the flesh. They market all of the sinful desires and they put them up on billboards, on posters and stores. No matter where you go in the world, you will be drawn back into the world. Backsliding is described as drawing back or shrinking back in the book of Hebrews. And that's interesting because the definition of backsliding is shrinking back, not overcoming, and being drawn back into the world of sin and those temptations. This is what the author of Hebrews said in Hebrews chapter 10. Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. God has no pleasure in us if we are being drawn back to the world, taking our eyes off of him and living for those desires of the flesh that the world is trying to put into us. The Lord only has pleasure in us if we fix our eyes on him and make him our only God. Our God is a jealous God. He will not allow us to chase after the world, to backslide, and to have him as our God. Many Christians think that they are just safe and secure in going to heaven and nothing will snatch them out of the hands of God. While it is true that if you put your faith in Jesus and focus your eyes on him, nothing will snatch you away, it is false to think that you can't backslide. You can pull yourself away from God. You can shrink back. You can fall back into addiction. You can fall away from your faith. You can fall out of your salvation. Many Christians preach lies. They say you're safe and secure. You can never lose your salvation. That's a lie. Your salvation is keeping your eyes fixed on Jesus to the very end. Don't believe Satan. Satan will tell you that no matter what, you can't be snatched out of the Lord's hand. You can pull yourself away from God. It's called backsliding, falling back to the world, being drawn back into the world. God has no pleasure with that. You have to overcome, be part of those who overcome and endure to the very end. Don't backslide. Stay close with Jesus and don't listen to the devil's lies. May the grace of Jesus be with you.